and welcome to week 17 of a year of wisdom. I'm not usually in my car, I know, but it's been a crazy life this past month and a half. Let's get to reading. Day 118. Job 38. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk, or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sang together and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy? Or who shut in the sea with doors when it burst out from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and prescribed bounds for it, and set bars and doors, and said, Thus far shall you come, and no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stopped. Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn to know its place, so that it might take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? It is changed like clay under the seal, and it is dyed like a garment. Light is withheld from the wicked, and their uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the expanse of the earth? Declare if you know all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of light, and where is the place of darkness, that you may take it to its territory, and that you may discern the paths to its home? Surely you know, for you were born then, and the number of your days is great. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow, or have you seen the storehouses of the hail, which I have reserved for the time of trouble, for the day of battle and war? What is the way to the place where the light is distributed, or where the east wind is scattered upon the earth? Who has cut a channel for the torrents of rain and a way for the thunderbolt to bring rain on a land where no one lives, on the desert which is empty of human life, to satisfy the waste and desolate land, and to make the ground put forth grass? Has the rain a father, or who has begotten the drops of dew? From whose womb did the ice come forth, and who has given birth to the hoarfrost of heaven? The waters become hard like stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Can you bind the chains of Pleiades, or loose the cords of Orion? Can you lead forth the Maseroth in their season, or can you guide the bear with its children? Do you know the ordinances of the heavens? Can you establish their rule in the earth? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds, so that a flood of waters may cover you? Can you send forth lightnings, so that they may go and say to you, Here we are. Who has put wisdom in the inward parts, or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds? Or who can tilt the water skins of the heavens, when the dust runs into a mass and the clods cling together? Can you hunt the prey for the lion? Or satisfy the appetite of young lions, when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in their covert? Who provides for the raven its prey, when its young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food? Proverbs 28 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. When a land rebels, it has many rulers, but with an intelligent ruler there is lasting order. A ruler who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law struggle against them. The evil do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Better to be poor and walk in integrity than to be crooked in one's ways even though rich. Those who keep the law are wise children, but companions of gluttons shame their parents. One who augments wealth by exorbitant interest gathers it for another who is kind to the poor. When one will not listen to the law, even one's prayers are an abomination. Those who mislead the upright into evil ways will fall into pits of their own making, but the blameless will have a goodly inheritance. The rich is wise in self-esteem, but an intelligent poor person sees through the pose. 
When the righteous triumph, there is great glory, but when the wicked prevail, people go into hiding. No one who conceals transgressions will prosper, but one who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Happy is the one who is never without fear, but one who is hard-hearted will fall into calamity. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked ruler over a poor people. A ruler who lacks understanding is a cruel oppressor, but one who hates unjust game will enjoy a long life. If someone is burdened with the blood of another, let that killer be a fugitive until death. Let no one offer assistance. One who walks in integrity will be safe, but whoever follows crooked ways will fall into the pit. Anyone who tills the land will have plenty of bread, but one who follows worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. The faithful will abound with blessings, but one who is in a hurry to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, yet for a piece of bread a person may do wrong. The miser is in a hurry to get rich and does not know that loss is sure to come. Whoever rebukes a person will afterward find more favor than one who flatters with the tongue. Anyone who robs father or mother and says, that is no crime, is partner to a thug. The greedy person stirs up strife, but whoever trusts in the Lord will be enriched. Those who trust in their own wits are fools, but those who walk in wisdom come through safely. Whoever gives to the poor will lack nothing, but one who turns a blind eye will get a many a curse. When the wicked prevail, people go into hiding, but when they perish, the righteous increase. And as always, I am super grateful for you being here today. Don't forget to hit subscribe right there and click the bell and hit that like button too. And I will see you tomorrow for another reading. Maranatha. My head's completely full and my heart is worry worn. I know without a doubt you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you, Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you, Lord Holding what's too much for me And I'm amazed by you, Lord Because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet